Justice Margo. She says in the one year she's been dating her boyfriend, Ryan, he's admitted to cheating on her literally dozens of times. Dozens of times. Ryan even admitted to sleeping with another woman named Amber on Valentine's Day. Oh! Uh, Ryan thinks Margo cheated too and says he's not the only one who needs a lie detector test, so you're taking a test too. Right. What does he think you did? He thinks I had sex with some guy at this party. Okay. I did. Well, there was a party, but well, let, let's talk about him first. So, so you've been with him for like a year, a rocky relationship, in, yeah. to use your words, right? Yeah, we, I move in and out just constantly. We always get in fights. He's always talking to other bitches on the phone and stuff. And... So he's not going to deny being with Amber on Valentine's no. Day? Well, at first he told me he's always been honest when he's cheated on me, like told me all these well, times. Wait a minute. What is cheating on you if he admits to it why you still with him because i thought well i thought i loved him i thought we could work things out and like we've been through a lot together you, you work things out okay. you want to know if he's cheated with amber more than he admits to right or if he cheated with other women and i know he he's fails, cheated with other girls but i think there's some i don't know about how do you know? How do you know about Amber? It's, I mean, do you know for sure? Who yeah, told he you told or? me. He told me. He I was told at my you. mom's on Valentine's Day, and I called him, and I was like, "What are you doing?" You know, trying to get together with him and stuff. And he's like, "Well, I can't do anything right now." And he didn't tell me then, but later when we got back together, he told me. <laughs> and <laughs> no. And listen, she brought him roses on Valentine's Day. She brought him roses, and they like cooked dinner together and stuff, and then. Bed. And then when I came back over, no, when I came back over, listen, 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 when I came and back still, over, no, listen, This listen. is still your boyfriend. You're still with this guy. But right? the roses that she gave him, he tried to give them to me and say that he got them for me. Margo, for real, why are you with this man? You know he playing you. Play, 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 play. Girl, you're fine. Why don't you go on and get you another? You beautiful girl, why don't you get your own man? Work it, girl. Work it. If he fails. If he fails today. What? What if he fails everything? Because you want to know if he's been with her more than he admits. Yeah. Other women. What if he fails all that? What are you gonna do? You're well, gonna at first I thought I was I thought I was just gonna stay with him and No, you're but gonna now, stay. Now with I don't him. know. I don't know. Well, let's see if Amber denies. Let's see what Amber's got to say. She's right here. Come on out, Amber. Are you gonna find every girl that he's been with and yell at them, or are you gonna yell at him? <laughs> you didn't yeah, answer your <laughs> for doing that. I didn't even know he was with you at first. Yeah, you did. And when I found out when you I went over there, you did. Something you need to do. Amber, you know? Amber, did you sleep with this guy, Ryan? No. Yeah, what? yeah, you. <laughs> no, just because he's about 30 girls doesn't mean I'm gonna go. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought he already admitted to being with you. He did. He told where me. were you on Valentine's Day? I was at his house and he cooked dinner for me. He told me he wasn't with her. But you didn't sleep with him? No. So he I never, never cheated. He never cheated with you. Well, we've done other stuff, but I've never had sex with him. Uh -huh. It all come out. Amber, what happened between you and Ryan? I started dating him, and I thought he was really nice at first, but I figured out his game plan and dropped him. Started dating him how long ago? Um, I've known him for about three years. Three years. I worked with them. Okay, you said you never slept together, but no. you did other things like yeah. what? You know, just messing around. No! No! When's the last, when's the last time you were like with him together in any um, way? He actually called me two weeks ago and came and picked me up. So you were with him? We is, that, is that when you guys called her on the speakerphone? No, but uh, one time he did have you on speakerphone. And he was like, man, listen to how pathetic she sounds. She's whining and crying for me. And he's just making you look stupid. Uh, we we got to get Ryan out here. We have him on tape first. Here's Ryan. Yeah, I've cheated on Margo before, but I always come clean and she always forgives me. Every time I even talk to a girl, she thinks I'm cheating. Margo is no angel either. A friend of mine told me she stripped and watched a porno with some guys she hardly knew. Man, if I have to take a lie detector test, so does she. 
Here's Ryan, everybody. Ryan. <laughs> Uh, and we you came over to the, the house food. and we kicked it. She said you never uh, had sex. No, we didn't. We just messed around. <laughs> okay, so you had some sexual activity with her? Yeah, but you, you didn't actually that. have sexual intercourse, so that doesn't count as cheating. Is that what? <laughs> you have cheated on Margot before. Right. You I mean, I admitted to it. I came clean. She forgave me. So. Okay. He think, now, you think she cheated on you. So yeah, I know was... she did. She just lies about it. What, what do you think hey, well, she did? We'll see. She, she, had, she probably had an orgy with these guys at the party. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, you, you met some guys? She met some guys where? Yeah, at a gas station. She just met some guys. She didn't even know them. And she said, asked if what they's doing. They said they're going to, real, to a party. Yeah, and you f***ed some girl that night, too. Uh, and, oh, yeah, you did. Margo, Margo, let's not use the F word anymore, Sorry. OK? Did you meet some guys at a gas station? Yes, did I you did. Go to a party? After I found out he was with did some Did you girls. go to a party with them? Yeah. Did you have sex with anybody? No, I didn't. If you fail your test today, because you both took a test, OK, your questions, have you cheated with Amber? You have cheated. I mean, sexual activity, you're, that's cheating. Right. Let's, come on. So the question is, how many times? Too many to count. <laughs> How many times have you done the things you said you never did? A couple of times, but some of the times I wasn't even with her. <laughs> I think you just busted yourself. <laughs> OK. Whatever. You can't figure it out, Margo. And Margo, you're saying nothing happened at the party with those guys? Right, nothing happened. What, what kind of, then what was going on at the party? We were sitting around drinking and watching that was about pornos. It. Yeah, in the morning, in the morning after we woke up and we're all sober. She you, you slept there? No. You woke we up playing. the next morning at the party? Yeah, I, he she said like I could this. sleep in his sister's bed. The I went down and laid down. Game. Did you and wake She stood up and she was supposed to take off something, but she pulled down her pants and said, Oops, I don't have any panties on, and pulled them back up in front of all guys. <laughs> I pulled him back up. Nothing happened. How do you know that, Ryan? How do you know I what told happened? Him. I told him everything that happened. Was there and she no, your sister's friend wasn't anyways. there. So what? Where'd you sleep, Margo? I told you. Margo, where'd you sleep? I slept in his sister's bed. With some guy. Oh. Yeah, I went in there, passed out, and some guy came in and, and got in bed. And, and we slept with you. Yeah. I did. I was fully clothed all right. the whole time. It's all going to come see. out in a few yeah, minutes. Right. When we come back, You'll this see. woman found pictures of her boyfriend naked with other women. She found strange girls' phone numbers hidden everywhere and was even told that her man was seen at a motel with another woman. And that's apparently not enough evidence because she still wants a polygraph test to find out if he's cheating. So stay tuned. Are you involved in an interracial relationship with someone who's actually a racist? Is your lover prejudiced against your own race? If you're dating or even married to someone who loves you but hates your race, call 1-800-203-2799. There's a new Smash Mouth football team coming to San Francisco. The team. They're gonna kick butt and take names, pushing themselves to the extreme. Passing drill. Blocking drill. <laughs> to meet Carol. Carol says she's here today not just because she suspects her boyfriend Damon of cheating, she also suspects he's cheating with her best friend, Janisha. Oh! Now both Damon and Janisha are waiting backstage. Now Janisha admits she slept with Carol's man, but Damon still denies anything ever happened. Wow. Hmm. Now you, uh, you've been with him for two years. You've actually found like tons of evidence. Yes. Well, what have you found? Pictures underneath um, the bed. Pictures of what? Of him having sex with other women. Oh! But he would always tell me that it was before me. And it, it, it was oh, okay. before me. Because he's like naked with other women, basically. Yeah. I mean, he says that was way before I knew you. And you've known him for, what, a couple of years? Yeah, almost You find years. phone numbers? Phone right? numbers. I find them above the zinc cabinet, underneath the couch, anything. And I call them back. And I ask them who they are. And they'll say that they know him. But he'll still deny and deny to them. But too. you've called for some of the numbers, yeah. right? 
I was... call him in front of him. And you say, who do you say you are? Hmm? Yeah. Who, who well, you... first I tell him that I'm his sister. And then when he walks in, I call him again. Because they had already told me that they know him and that they messing with him. So these women are telling you he's still denying? Yes, he denied yeah. to the end. And you've had somebody that actually saw him in a motel with another woman, right? So, uh, one of my cousins said that she seen his car leaving out the motel and that Janisha was in the car with him. And then the next morning, oh! then the next morning. Who took the pictures? He said it was his friend. <laughs> Who took him? One of his friends that was with him. Oh. Speaking of friends, now this woman is your best friend, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Well, she's also five and a half months pregnant. Here is Janisha. Oh. Plenty of times you done came over there with me and Brian and we done told you that I didn't even told you that Damon was playing over you. Well, but the girls you never and I told, me told it was you. with you. Okay, but that was you way never before. Told me it was with I you. done told you plenty of times yes, to leave no. Damien. You did cheat with him, right? You admit it. Yeah, I admit Was that you coming out of the motel with him that somebody saw you? It was yes. you. Oh. It was me. I mean, why lie? How long did you was this how long did you sleep with him for? Oh. Well, we've been talking for like about six months. We've been I've been safe for like, what, three? This could be his baby. No, it's not. How do you know? Because me and Damien use condoms. You use condoms? <laughs> OK, but see, if you was in the bed, you'll know it was But then you okay. were sleeping with somebody else at the same time. You were sleeping with him, too, right, if you're pregnant? Yeah. You were, you were, with, somebody, you were with somebody without a condom, right? Yes. Yeah. So when's the last time you were together with him? When's the last time you slept with him? About two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Oh. <laughs> They seen you a week ago. All right. I tell you, well, give him a chance to tell his side. Give him a chance. We have him on videotape first. Here's Damon on tape. Carol is paranoid. She searches all over the house to find evidence to accuse me of cheating. She lifts up the bed and looks on top of the kitchen cabinet just to try to find stuff. Just because she found pictures of me naked with some other girl don't mean I'm cheating. Now one of her friends told her that I'm sleeping with Janisha. I think her friends are as crazy as she is. Here's Damon, everybody. Damon. Hey, you lying like a You want some of these old You paranoid. Damon. Damon. Damon, did you cheat on Carol or not? Nope. How much you want to be? Okay. Much you be. So, so Janisha's just making all this up? She's yeah. just making it up? Yeah, she's making all of it. Did bit. you come out of a motel with some girl? Anybody? She tripping, man. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, she tripping. Okay. Yes, were there, were there no, naked? Not. Were there been pictures of you times naked you and with Brian women? went places with girls, and that was my boyfriend. He used to come and tell me. Mm. And I didn't tell Carol once before man, that you had a girlfriend up. right across you, from you my with that Whatever. You with, that, you with that other what? man. Damon? What's Why do you up? have to hide phone numbers then if you're not cheating? Oh, they his cousin's numbers. Nah. <laughs> okay. They they hit my cousin numbers, man. The the pictures, the the naked pictures of you with other women. What's the deal? Man, she tripping. <laughs> That's all I can say. She tripping, man. You know you took a lie detector test, right? Yeah. Oh. You remember? You do remember taking the lie detector test? Yeah, Why I remember. Okay. How do you think you did? Damon, how do you think you I did? I think I did damn good. No way nah, this is your my baby. baby, man. It's a community baby straight up. Oh, no, no community baby. Shut up. Not no community baby. Shut up. Shut up. You, 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 you just out. And Carol, though. you know, he what suspects else? you've been fooling around straight too, up, right? Now. What do you think Carol's been doing? You want to take a test too, right? She always, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stay too long in the grocery store. Man. You have no, what, what evidence do you have that she might be fooling around? What? Because she got a can we try that one more time damon can you can you just try that one more time do you have any reason to believe she's i mean she's cheating on you 
You haven't seen her with anybody, right? You have no evidence. Like I say, she got a If you're a guy, what's the best way to find out if your girlfriend's cheating? Do what my next guest did. Go online under her name, chat with her friends, and pretty soon you'll get all the evidence you need. We'll be right back. Are you a parent who allows your children to be sexually active in your own home? Or are you a teen who has permission to be sexually active at home? If you allow or even encourage your kids to have sex, call 1-800-203-2799. At GEICO, we're always looking for faster ways to process your car insurance claim. Booty women are taking over on Jenny Jones. Friday. If you suspect somebody's been cheating on you, we'd be happy to give you, a, or them, a lie detector test, 312-832-4180. Our next guest is Chris, who suspects his girlfriend Susan's cheating on him because of some high-tech snooping he did. Well, this was great. Chris logged onto the internet under her screen name, started chatting up with her friends, and bluffed them into talking about Susan's uh, well, whatever. What, what did you find out? And I went on and I started telling her, you know, Chris found out that, uh, I've been cheating on him. She says, how? What do you mean? And uh, you know what? I, I told you about it, didn't I? And she starts going on about this guy named Steve, an incident where he, he was over making out with her, and his girlfriend showed up, and, and there was like a fight or something with Susan. And that's not even the guy, that's not even the guy that's here today. That's no. just another guy, yeah. right? Now, you, what, what reason did you have to be, so you, go, you went there for a reason. What made you suspicious she was cheating on you? Well, we've been going out for about two and a half years. I've been gone for about a year and a half. I moved to Seattle. We've been going through like a so long-distance long distance relationship. relationship and, right. Did she ever you know, lie to you? Did she ever have a history of lying before? Yeah, her cousin told me about a time where she was at a college party. Uh, this is about a month after I left. Mm -hmm. you know, we are supposed to be in love and stuff. And she slept with some guy she, she met like four hours. Four hours later, she him. But you asked her about it, right? You asked her about that. She, she did not even go in for about six months. She finally admitted she went, but she says yeah, she slept in his bed, but he wasn't there. He went to go play, <laughs> he went to go play basketball at 10 o'clock. All right, so now Mike is your friend, right? The guy that's here backstage. Yeah. And so he says she's hitting on him, making passes on him. Yeah, there's an incident where uh, we're all drinking at my friend's house. I went up, went to sleep, and uh, she came downstairs and supposedly started sitting on his lap, rubbing his legs and stuff, trying to get him to go in the other room. All right, well, let's get Mike's side of the story first. Here's his friend, Mike. So, first of all, nothing happened with you and Susan, right? Not at all, But no. she came on to you, you yes, said. Yes, she did. And what exactly did she do? Did she sit on your lap? As soon as Chris went upstairs and he was sleeping, she had acknowledged that. She came right over to me, started rubbing on my leg, sitting on my lap, and saying, Chris is, up, Chris is upstairs, let's go into the other room. I'm like, no, Chris is my friend, you know? I, I got a girlfriend, everything uh -huh. like that. <laughs> Get you guys. So she had, she had proceeded, though, let's go to the other room. So you, that's a pretty direct, to you, you, that meant let's go have sex, what, basically. You go, go play the video games or something? Yeah, yeah. Room, you know? uh, now, does he have any reason besides that to be suspicious? Do you know anything that um, she's been doing? Or? I see her driving around in cars with other guys. Uh, she's always hitting on my friend sitting on his lap as well. Yeah. Writing emails to my friend. Emailing your friend Dwayne, yes. hitting on your other friends. Yep. All right, let's see what she's got to say. Here is Susan. You're oh, such a damn liar, you know, you know it. You've been, no, you've been cheating Whatever. on my friend. Sit down. You hit on me. Sit down. You know, I came here for one reason you know and one lying. reason only. You know you're one lying. reason. And that's you know to make sure lying. he does not go you know home with you. You know you're lying. All right, Susan. How long? Two year relationship? Two and a half year relationship? Yes. Long distance, though? Yes. He says a month after he was gone out of town, <laughs> he started hearing rumors. He started hearing rumors a month after he was gone out of it's town. It's all lies. What happened at the party? Nothing. I was just hanging out with friends and... He slept in his damn bed. But he wasn't even Where there. Where the hell did he go at 10 o'clock? You gonna go play basketball? 
bed right. did you sleep in that night? His, but he wasn't even there. This guy? Yeah. Where'd he so go? You... I don't know where he went. Play basketball, that's what you said. Okay. Okay. Right up 10 o'clock at night. Away. Susan, have you ever cheated on Chris? No, I haven't. Not okay, your, your test questions are, did you sleep with a guy at the college party? You said no. Did you have sex with anybody else but Chris? Because he's been your first lover, mm -hmm. your only, only guy you've been with. Yeah. You're right. Did she, and the, and one, did you hit on Mike was one of your other questions, okay? No, you say no to all of this, no. okay? Well, are these excuses and explanations going to hold up? We'll see after all the results come up in the next segment. Stay tuned. Just because Chris's friends tell him I'm partying and cheating all the time doesn't mean it's true. I guess people are jealous and want to break us up. I did sleep in some guy's bed, but he wasn't even in the room at the time. I would never cheat on Chris, especially with his friends. Chris is the only guy I've ever been with, and the lie detector will prove that. Are you involved in an interracial relationship with someone who's actually a racist? Is your lover prejudiced against your own race? Oh, boy. I've got the results in my hand. Everybody's a little nervous. They're all going to... We'll get to the truth, finally. We just were talking to uh, Chris and Susan, and actually, yeah, Susan, you wanted Chris to take a, a lie detector test. Do you know think? He's been doing stuff. I do not. You think he was cheating? So yeah. let's do Chris's first. Uh, you think he might have cheated? And when Chris said that he never cheated on you, Susan, he passed the test. I like that. My boy now, when Susan said that she never hit on Chris's friend Mike with the lap story with the him. Failed. Maybe you don't remember. No, I know I didn't. Okay. You, okay. you, you just know you failed. Did. Okay. Basketball. We got uh, two more questions. When Susan said she never slept with anyone other than Chris, the only guy you ever been with, failed. Uh. Chris, I'm sorry. It looks like you really cared about her, but you were suspicious for, for good reason. Thank we have man. one more question. When she said she never slept with a guy at that college party, she failed that too. I told you nothing but a damn liar. So now what? Now what? Chris? Is it over? I'm done. Okay. Good. All right, Carol and Damon. Damon with the naked. <laughs> you all remember Damon, just because I was naked in a picture with a woman doesn't mean I'm having sex with her. <laughs> Damon. Uh, you both took the lie detector test. Carol, you want to do yours first? You answered three questions. When Carol said she never cheated on Damon with anyone he knows, she passed. When Carol said she never cheated on Damon with anyone he doesn't know, she passed. When she said that Damon is the only possible father of, this, of their child, she also passed. Give me mine. No, don't touch me now, because you, yeah. you still got yours for me. You I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass, man. Damon, Damon, Damon you, got, right. you feeling pretty good about yourself, huh? Yeah. You want to okay. hear your results? <laughs> when Damon said he never cheated on Carol with Janisha, he failed. Oh, man. When Damon said he never cheated on Carol with any women other than Janisha, he failed. Oh, when Damon oh, said he man. never cheated on Carol with women whose pictures she found under the bed, he failed that too. That's a lie. Y'all test so much. Y'all test, man. I swear what a God. shot. What a uh, shot, huh? this girl, Diane Robinson is here. She does all of our tests. This is the real thing. It's the real wrong. deal. He wants wrong, to take man. his test over. We've heard that before. We'll be glad to do it. It's do not it going to change. Man. It's time for Margot and Ryan, who asked each other to take the tests. Margot took two questions. When Margot said she never cheated on Ryan other than the times he suspects, she actually passed that. <laughs> so... The second question might explain the first one, but when Margot says she didn't cheat on Ryan the night of the party in question, that's the night that he does suspect. He failed that one. Oh. 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 Peace. Okay. 
Yeah, you suspected that for a reason. Yeah. Ryan, three questions for Ryan. When Ryan said he never calls Amber to ask her out, failed. Yeah. When Ryan said he never cheated with, uh, never cheated on Margot with Amber more than the times she knew about, failed. Yeah. When Ryan said he never cheated on Margot with women other than Amber that she knows about, this is somebody else that she doesn't know about, failed that too. <laughs> now, you said she's, she's going to take you back, right? She would, no matter what I you do. I don't want her back. You don't want her back. Oh, I don't want you either. You don't even have to you want her back. Just out out I don't know Whatever. what to do with the ones I got now. Yeah, I don't need right. her. For real. You wish. It's on everything. Now, we'll update these stories for you on our website, JennyJones.com. We'll see what happens after the show and who actually does stay together. Oh, Lindsay. Lindsay. <laughs> Well, we actually have a first with, our, with uh, Lindsay's lie detector uh, questions. Lindsay actually refused to answer the questions. <laughs> so this was never happened, Diane, right? He refused to answer, but it went farther than that, right? Right. He, uh, first one, he admits to that, yes, he has had... Um... Yeah, well, the question was, when, when asked if he cheated on Marilyn, hmm. Rather than answer the question and fail, he admitted to you that he had so that he wouldn't have to fail. Oh, right. make him take right. the test. Make him take the test. Make him take the test. He's trying to get away no. with it. Thank Thank you. Go on, man. Yeah. Okay, when Lindsay was asked yeah. if he cheated on Marilyn with women other than Edna, he wouldn't answer, but later no admitted. Comments. Ed no comments, man. But I'm here for her, not, you know, but you I'm admitted here for her, no comments, There were two man. other women. You admitted it. What? You heard me. No, nah, man, no comments, man. I'm well, here for Well, there you have it. There you this have it. issues right here, man. That's it. This scat right there, man. That's Mar it. Marilyn, scat, right? there's your yeah. results. Okay, he he sure. did cheat on you. He just didn't want to be, you know, fail the that's, test, that's so he I'm gave saying. up she the didn't information. Take, like, take the test? She didn't take one? Hmm? I don't oh, need to uh, take one. doesn't need to. He failed his. It's it's my kid, he failed He's the one who needs to take one. He's the one who needs to take one. This ain't my kid, though. Don't touch me. You're the one who needs to take one. This ain't my kid, though. All right. Well, you know, People are laughing, but there are some serious relationships here, and some yeah, people, I think, really did care about these people. When we come back, our staff psychologist, Dr. Jean Cirillo, will help them sort things out. At GEICO, we're always looking for faster ways to process your car insurance claims. Dr. Jean Cirillo is back with us, our staff psychologist, and we just chatted briefly before we came on the air, and I asked you who you wanted to talk to, and you wanted to talk to Marilyn, who just found out that Lin Lindsay failed his test. He did have an affair with Edna. And Lindsay admitted everything, so why do you still want Edna to take a lie detector okay, test? No, because it's so I'm hard thinking. to accept. She's so still in denial. She, that, that means that you, that you, you still somehow believe that maybe he was no, faithful to you? No, I don't care. You? I don't want him no more. I don't want him no more. But, but why I'm did you ask say, her? I'm sorry, Edna. I'm sorry because I don't know. You know, maybe it's not your fault. You know, maybe your ancestors were sluts too in process. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go back to Dr. I Cirillo. I think Marilyn wants to blame somebody. She's not exactly. ready to I'm accept not the that one. Lindsay wanted to do this. I think Edna, all these Edna, people hold on. are ready Edna, to commit Edna, to one oh, person. Edna, you I don't have want it. your man. I don't Edna, want your man. Edna, Edna, Dr. Cirillo's talking. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I know she, well, it's because it's upsetting news, you know. Somehow people think, you know, you get all this evidence and you still think that somehow they're being faithful to you. You're always the last one to know if you're the wife or the girlfriend because you just don't want to believe your own eyes and ears. So you accuse people who tell you of lying. You accuse the other person mm -hmm. of causing it. Really, it's in the person who you were with. They would take the final responsibility. And it doesn't seem like any of these people feel ready to be committed. And in some ways, I don't blame them. A lot of them are too young, and they want to date a lot of people. And it's better they do it now than after they're married. Well, we talked about seeing all the signs. Here's the woman who found naked mm. pictures of you know, him <laughs> and... Phone well, number is hidden everywhere. He I mean, is in complete denial. He says that because he does something, she does it. You're saying that because she has a certain body part that she's got to use it the way you use yours. No, she uses her brain first, and that's what you should do. There's a guy. That's a man who sees a woman totally as nothing but a sex object, right? You have to use your brain before you can use any of your sex organs. You should be mature enough to use them. 
All right, we'll take a break and be right back. You think it's fun watching? I've gone to pastry shops that have bigger cupcakes than you. You should see it live. To attend a free taping, call 312-836-9485. I want to thank Diane Robinson again for providing all of our, uh, D our uh, light detector tests and Dr. Cirillo. You know, we've done this topic before. It just amazes me how when you see that many signs, you know, yeah. they're, usually, they're usually right. Exactly. Where there's smoke, there's fire. If you suspect somebody's cheating, they usually are if you see all these signs. That's a great thing to end the show with. We actually have a poll on our website uh, that, that asked you what, what would take you, what would get you to cheat on your mate? How, what would, what would